you guys are out on uh, tour right now with Disturb in support of your latest album, Hope and Sorrow. How's the tour been going? It's good. It's been the best tour we've been on in years. So, I mean, it'll be good to end it and go home and go to sleep for the first time in a few months, but uh, it, it'll be a bummer, you know, when it's over. Because every show has just been great. Very cool. Um, you guys have like tonight and then one more night of that. Right, and then um, what are you guys doing after that? We go, uh, we're going to go home for two weeks and then we have uh, a week of writing and then uh, we go out with Black Label Society for another six weeks. So. Nice. You said that you were writing is that for the next album mm -hmm. or how's yeah. that been going? Real good. We've got, uh, I mean, we've got ideas for about 25 songs now so we're going to start hammering those out and hopefully we'll get four or five that we really like. And, be on our way to the next record. That's when do you think that you're looking to get into the studio? Do you have any time frames? Yeah, we're going to try to go in and record like August or September for a few months and finish it up then and then have it out by you know the first quarter of 2010. So it'll be the first time in a while that we don't have a record out every year. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice. Yeah. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> well, rest and break, right? <laughs> Um, you guys just recently released your new uh, single, um, Prodigal Son? That was the first one, yeah. We, What's we did that one first, and then, uh, then we did The Past, and then we, I guess, kind of released Inside, just kind of underneath, you uh -huh. know, no real push on it, just threw it out there to radio, so, you know, this is a, it's a weird record, it's like the songs that I think were the biggest singles were the ones that had other people on them like the Daughtry song, which was the past, and then Miles' song, uh, Sorrow, but you can never get the releases from the labels to release those songs, so the ones that were the, the most easily accessible, I think, were the ones that were the hardest to release. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you guys own your own label then, your album's out on it, right? Yeah, we run that, but the other people that come in and sing on it, their labels won't give the rights to us to release it. Oh, that sucks. It's all just a bunch of political crap. Right. Like they don't have enough money already. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. You guys have a limited box set that came out last fall. Mm -hmm. It's with five different CDs that you guys have already released. And then you guys autographed them. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass, really. <laughs> I mean, it was, it, was, it was cool to do it and everything, but it was there's only 5,000 of them for sure. And it took us weeks, you know, to sit there and hand sign 5,000 things. I never could believe how long that would take. but. We would do 500 at a time, and it would take you about 45 minutes to an hour to do 500 of them, each person. So it was like, you know, a few hours per box, and we had 10 of those boxes. So. Well, but it was cool. worse than doing the meet and greets every night, where that's all you do is... It's, I mean, I don't mind signing stuff, it's just, it's a lot easier, you know, when you're doing it for somebody. Hey, how are you, you know? At least you know who gets it. I don't know who's getting <laughs> these things, but, but it, it's cool, you know, I mean, it's a real limited edition thing, and... Um, you know, it has everything, basically, it could have been called the sunny era because it's everything that Clint wasn't on. Mm -hmm. So I think it was us really putting that to rest, just, you know, like that's the end of that little hiatus that Clint took and we put it in a box and we signed it up and sent it out. Now, when Clint came back, how was that? Was it like immediately you guys all immediate. picked right back up like you had it been called? Like it was or? nothing. Immediate. I mean, the first day we rehearsed, we started laughing. The first song we played was a song that he didn't even, you know, he didn't play on the, on the record. So we, we played, I don't even remember what song it was, but we did it and we started laughing. We were like, well, you know that one? It's definitely meant to be that. Yeah, it's totally meant to be. And then with uh, Sonny leaving too, I heard that it was very, like, it wasn't like a bad thing. Like, like, a, like sometimes bands want to leave because, um, like, there's a big fight or something. Yeah, no. It was a pretty good mutual thing. Well, he didn't want us to, f to let him go, that's for sure. But I mean, you know, I think that over time he kind of understood that, you know, we wanted to get our original band back together. And then he ended up going back and, you know, working with Mikey to put Snot back together. So. Yeah, it was definitely meant to be. Everybody's happy. Yeah. yeah. You guys ended up playing for the soldiers mm -hmm. uh, back in March. Right. Last year. In Afghanistan, now. yeah. Yeah, and uh, I heard that you guys were trying to make plans to go back to Iraq. Is that still something you're working on? Or? We're going back May 19th. Oh, cool. Yeah, for 10 days, so. What was that like when you were there? Just humbling as could be, you know, just 
like, there's no buildings, there's no, I mean, there's buildings that we, we build, you know, on the base, but I mean, you just look out and it's just desert and mountains and people that don't like us everywhere, you know. But if I met somebody, I felt pretty safe with all of the soldiers around me. I mean, we, you know, we just love them so much. That, that How do I, you do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, uh, we felt good with, uh, with being around those guys. You know, it was the best thing we ever did in our career, for sure. Very cool. Yeah. Wait, what was it? When was it again? It was May. May 19th. May 19th. So I'm sure they'll be looking forward to again. Everybody start praying now. <laughs> And I don't know if you heard too that uh, the news today that was talking about um, President Obama was trying to wrap things up by yeah. 2010. So yeah, this will be our last trip, I'm sure. So, so. hopefully those guys and women will be back soon, all safe. Definitely. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, once again, check them out when they're on tour with Black Label Society. The new album is Hope and Sorrow. Remember, support your artists, buy their albums. This has been an edition of Musician Photo Tour.